a opportunity for dad or if there's somebody else in the home um, to be able to participate in strength and remote learning. So I like that aspect of mom's proposal. And um, I think the Sunday 9th and 6th is what was in the original order, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't have necessarily problems with that. Um, I think the court's recommendation around transfers, they heard a public place, there's no video recording of, of either of them. I don't think it's appropriate for the kids to see that parents are video recording the other parent. Uh, not to say that that has been happening. I think it might have been in terms of the children knowing that the parents were videoing the other parent, but I think that risk is too great. Um, and also, I think that I would support language that says that neither parent will need to say their name without permission of the other parent or order of the court. I think that would be appropriate at this in this interim stage. Okay, thank you. So, folks, I'm sorry to say that um, because of the short nature of the hearing um, that I knew, do need to stop this. But I will say this was an expedited emergency hearing because Dad withheld kids. And you're, I, I will say that um, Dad has uh, created incredible instability and trauma to these children. And, sir, I have to say you had some important things that you could have brought forward what you have done for your to your children in this time frame is just baffling to the court. You have an amazing guardian ad litem. You have a justice system that's all ears, and you we don't encourage people to have self help. And now we find ourselves in this situation right now, which is unbelievably traumatizing, and that you're not taking any look at your actions. And ma'am, you tailgating someone for three miles is just awful. I mean, it's beyond. And so, like, I hope you own that for some period of time because you need help. You both need help. You need both need really good counselors could get at the heart of how you could treat your children in this manner. And listen, I can tell that you want to say something and you're not listening. I, um, I'm no recordings. The schedule will be Sunday 9 to 6 with Dad, Tuesday and Wednesday overnight with Dad. And I would have kept the schedule just as it is because we're, this is an expedited process and on a final hearing basis we'll be better attuned to figure out if there should be a change in residency. But to me the transitions are so awful that it, it, it merits making a change. Neither party will leave New Hampshire or Maine without um, the agreement of the other, the other party. Neither parent will talk to their kids about this litigation at all. Um, I am going to ask that, uh, Dad, that you pay attorney fees to Attorney Coughlin of $7,000. And um, I will set this case up. I want the guardian to be able to continue to do an investigation. She wasn't even able to visit with the kids in Mom's home, who's their primary caretaker, or in that setting because of the way this case has gone down. So it will be set up for a telephonic phone conference in 30 days. and. I really hope that you guys can take that time to, I'm, I'm going to uh, order you both obtain individual counseling and follow the recommendations of a counselor. And then um, if you could add those people um, to, to folks that you talk to, Attorney Thibodeau, um, yeah. because I really am hoping that you both get to the place where you can own that your kids are not going to grow up well like this. And. Um, it's, it's too bad. You guys have been in two different courts in the state of Maine, tons of PFAs and PFHs against each other. This isn't the way you should be doing this, and I hope you can take a step back. And nobody should be withholding the kids at all from each other. Create some sanity. The kids should be returned today. I don't, I don't know what the plan is, but they should be returned immediately to mom. Your Honor, in light of the uh, order that the, uh, they... That they not record and that Emily Rochette not attend the exchanges. I really need to minimize the exchanges. So I was wondering if uh, anybody, we could agree that the schedule would be um, continue from Sunday through Monday and Tuesday night rather than Tuesday, Wednesday. Is that anything anybody could agree to under the, what, just tweaking it a little um, to, to make one less ex uh, exchange, two less exchanges. Attorney Seymour, I mean, Miss Seymour, sorry. Would you be in agreement with Dad having Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday overnight? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. So, so should, what time should we start on Sunday? I think it's nine to six. Are you okay? You are you okay with that being at nine, ma'am? I need Miss Seymour. I need your answer. Keep them until Tuesday. Is that it? No, overnight. So when?
Wednesday morning. To Wednesday morning drop off at school or to you? Either one. I'm totally, I'm totally fine with this. Right. I'm, I'm a little more concerned about tonight, Your Honor, than any other time. Okay, what are we going to do today? I would love to go meet at Cumberland Park. Elliot, you can't like it. Okay, so what time is it right now? I'd like the exchange to be at Elliot at 5 p.m. of the kids tonight, and just the two parties present. Just Josh and I? Yes. No girlfriend. No, no communication either. I don't say anything. Um, he may have someone else with him. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a protection from harassment complaint in place, and... I think it's in everybody's interest to have somebody else legal. It's not a bad idea, Elliot. PD can be Elliot PD. All right, why don't you guys exchange at Elliot PD? I just think this is you're going to probably freak out the kids even more than they already are freaked out. But if that's what you guys want to do, just go for it. All right, so Sunday, and then going forward, it'll be Sunday at nine with Dad to Wednesday at nine with Dad. Um, and the rest of the order will stay. Okay? I wish you good luck with it, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.